Okay, hello brothers and sisters, hope you're doing okay, uh, this is another bright new day that the Lord has made, and uh, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as uh, we study His Word. And uh, in today's Bible study lesson, we are going to answer this mind-blowing question concerning the Paulicians. Have you ever heard about the Paulicians? So now, many people have always been asking, who were the Paulicians? Who were the Paulicians? That's what we're going to study today. Uh, I hope you're seated on a comfortable seat. And uh, you've got a pen, a notebook, and your Bible, of course. And uh, come on, let's get started, all right? So, we understand that the, the Paulicians were a very heretical sect that began in uh, Armenia in the 7th century. And like many heresies during that time, this uh, group was influenced by Gnosticism, Marcionism, and uh, Marcianism. And a man named uh, Constantine started the sect and advocated for a supposed return of Pauline Christianity. Constantine and his followers adopted names of Paul's uh, disciples such as Timothy, Titus of uh, Tychias. Constantine himself adopted the name Silvanus and uh, the followers of the sect were named Paulicians because of their emphasis on Paul's letters and their belief on of the returning of the teachings of Paul in the Bible. And something you have to ponder here is that uh, the Paulicians caught the attention of the Benzenite church, which uh, condemned their teaching because of uh, its connection to the Machian heresy. And Constantine Silvanus was eventually executed by stoning. But Simeon Titus revived the Paulician congregation and this heretical sect who viewed themselves as true Christians were persecuted periodically depending on the level of uh, toleration of the Byzantine, Byzantine emperor. So something you have to understand fellas is that uh, although a massive persecution was undertaken by Michael the first and uh, Theodora, the Paulicians experienced a great revival in the ninth century and their group seemed to have continued until the time of the Crusades. And uh, Paulicianism had not survived into the modern period, but it was around long enough to influence the Bogomils, which is another heretical sect started in the 10th century. So we see that Paulicianism taught a form of Gnostic heresy that combined elements of dualism and uh, docetism and the Byzantine church rightly condemned the teachings of the Paulicians which do not agree with scripture. And the Paulicians advocated various false doctrines such as the, the dualism that's we're going to see a, a couple of them. Dualism is one of the things that they really advocated because uh, the Paulicians followed the Marcion belief that there are two gods. The, the true God created, uh, who created the good stuff, the spiritual realm, while the evil God created the bad, earthly, sensual world. And... Uh, we know the Bible does not teach this. And of course, there is only one God who is described in creating all things, including the earth. Do you know, when you read in uh, the book of Isaiah 44, verse 6, the Bible says, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I am the last, and besides me there is no God. And of course we know Genesis 1.1 says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. 
so we, we get the point that there's only one God. Something else that these Paulicians they believed in is uh, something called uh, docetism. Because uh, of their strong belief that uh, the material world is evil, Paulicians advocated docetism. Docetism, all right? <laughs> Which teaches that uh, Christ did not have a physical body and uh, so only appear to have suffered in the flesh obviously this is uh, not taught in scripture as the disciples personally touched the physical body of Jesus do you remember doubting Thomas touching the body of Christ when Jesus says uh, in Luke 24 verse 39 behold my hands and my feet that is it is I myself handle me and see for a spirit has no flesh and bones as you see me right do you get the point here and also you see 1 John 1 1 the Bible says that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands we have handled of the word of life it's talking about Jesus here so Jesus' purpose was to free us from the physical realm and according to Paulician teachings Jesus died to free the spirit from the bondage of uh, the physical realm not to provide salvation from sins and we see of course uh, the scripture teaches different things the scripture says in uh, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 for he has made him to be seen for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him okay and uh, also 1 Peter 3:18 says for Christ has also once suffered for sins the just for the unjust that he might bring us to God being put to death in the flesh but quickened by the spirit another thing that the Paulicians taught is the uh, asceticism Asceticism. We understand, although Paulicians allowed marriage and eating meat, they urged asceticism regarding the material world. Scripture warns against asceticism. Look at uh, Colossians 2.20 downwards. It says, Wherefore, if you be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why is Though living in the world, are you subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men. And uh, verse 23 give us even more detail. It says, Which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship and humility and neglecting of the body not in any honor of the satisfying of the flesh you see now do you see this kind of people and what they they taught and uh, something else we have to understand is that the Old Testament they used to say these politicians they used to say that uh, the Old Testament is invalid you see these are what we call hyper dispensationalists because all scripture is given by God that we can use it but these guys were saying that the Old Testament is invalid believing that the evil demiurge was uh, tied to the Old Testament and they rejected all the books of the Old Testament and only used the Gospels Paul's epistles and a few general epistles and in contrast the Bible teaches that the Old Testament is equally the word of God. Think about Luke 24 verse 44. It says, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. All things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened their understanding. You see? One more thing that uh, 
these people they also believed is that uh, the problematic view of Jesus you see Paulicianism teaches that Jesus was created and adopted by the son of God as the son of God at his baptism and Paulicians did not believe that God assumed flesh because of the evilness of the body but when you look at the scripture the scripture teaches the doctrine of trinity and Jesus incarnation and divinity look at uh, the book of Matthew 28 verse 19 it says go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost also John 1:1 it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and verse 14 confirms even the more and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory is of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth so what can we conclude with this although these people call themselves christians Paulicians were not Christians in a biblical sense. Following Gnostic teachings, uh, the sect was one of many groups in the early centuries that fell into heresy. Paulicians uh, and their teaching should remind modern Christians of the importance of guarding against false teaching and the need to deal with unorthodox views of the scripture. Heresy can spread quickly. but cannot stand in the face of truth stand away from heresy the apostle paul said in acts 20 verse 28 uh down to 30 he said this take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the holy ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of god which he has purchased with his own blood for i know this that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you not sparing the flock also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them so we have to be careful friends from any false doctrine out there which is just out to make sure that it teaches something different from what the bible is teaching And uh, that's the end of today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. You can always download these uh, productions so that you can listen to them later or share to your friends and of course also favorite our channel and subscribe to always know whenever we post a new Bible study lesson. Hope to see you soon in the next one. 